What's up? I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. This is another ride share nugget. It's where I talk about some small little idea about ride share driving. Since I've been a ride share driver since February 2nd, 2017, and I've done over 12,000 rides. I've been, I've, I've seen a couple things, and I've had a couple thoughts, and this is one of them. The idea, the biggest, what I think is the biggest misconception that passengers have about the job. As a full-time driver, the biggest misconception is the idea of it being flexible. This job is really flexible. You can decide when you want to drive, whenever you want to, make the money when you want. It's super flexible. That is like the biggest misconception because as a full-time driver, you soon discover that there are better times to drive and there's a cap into how much you can actually make. So once you know like what the reality is in your area for how much you can actually make and then when the best times to drive are it really forces your hand to go like okay if i want to make this much money i have to be driving at this certain these times and be out these many days and like for me I, I make sure i always take two days off because i can't function if i try to drive more than five days a week really so i really stay i really try to make sure i'm giving myself a weekend and then so within five days a week, I know exactly when I'm gonna be driving, when I'm gonna make the mo most money, you know, because as a full-time driver, you're like, why would I drive when it's slow? Why would I do that to myself? So um, my hand is forced into driving when it's busy. So the, the where it does maintain some degree of flexibility is A, you're not locked into it. I mean, you can make less money and nobody's gonna other than yourself is going to get on your back and say, why weren't you at work today? So that's one aspect of flexibility. And let's say you do choose to do that five day a week schedule. You can pretty much plug and play which five days you want to work. But I found a, it's highly valuable for me to have two days off in a row in order to make it through five days of working. So because it's about 10 hour days usually is kind of to make the, the amount that I need to make this sustainable. Whoa, headlights. Check me out. I'm in the, yeah, whoa. Anyways, that's, I think that's about covers that. So it's not nearly as flexible as you know, if as a full-time driver, as people think it is. If you're a part-time driver, um, then of course it's flexible. Work two days a week, whatever, whenever you want. But as a full-time driver trying to make it happen, it, the flexibility goes way down, way down, way down compared to what passengers think about the idea of flexibility. All right, let me hear your thoughts on it. Do you agree, do you disagree? I'd love to know, I'd love to know. All right, be sure to check out these two fingers I'm holding up, but also uh, my rideshare experience video series. I do like a full show, it's like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes long every week. It usually comes out every Monday. You can check out the playlist tab called My Rideshare Experience on this channel. It's in the description of this video as well. And um, you know, check out more thoughts, more ideas, more of what's going on, how I've been doing with this job, been doing it since I've been making videos since 2017 as well. So there's a lot of them, a lot of rideshare videos for you to check out. All right, thanks. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, be excellent to each other. Hope you're getting long rides because that's where the money's at. And big tips and peace, as we like to say.